Hey guys, it's Scott here and thank you for clicking this video, I hope you're all doing well. Bloodhound is definitely one of the best legends this season and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Bloodhound effectively in Apex Legends Season 7. I'm going to cover Bloodhound's abilities in depth and the best ways to use these to help both you and your teammates. I've included timestamps in the video description below if there are any certain areas you would like to skip ahead to. I've previously done a guide on Wraith, so if you want to take a look at that, you can click at the top of the screen now. But without further delay, let's talk about Bloodhound. Before we take a look at Bloodhound's abilities, I just want to talk about their profile and hitbox. If you don't know, Legends profiles are essentially the hitboxes. If they're harder to hit, they take a 5% increase in damage, but bigger Legends who are easier to hit take a 5% decrease in damage. Although Bloodhound does have the same size hitbox as Lifeline, which makes him one of the smallest in the game, they do not classify as a low profile legend. I'm not sure if this is due to them being more of a support and recon legend, but it's something definitely worth knowing. Bloodhound's passive ability is called Tracker. Tracker allows you to see the activities of players from up to 90 seconds ago. If you look towards the pop-up icon, it will tell you what the enemy was doing there and how long ago. Tracker allows you to see a wide variety of actions from an enemy sliding or climbing a wall to a recent battle in which someone bled out and had been looted. The brighter and closer to red this icon is, the more recent that action was. Although you can ping these to your teammates, it will not specify how long ago this was to them, so voice comms may play a key role when you do play Bloodhound. With Bloodhound being a recon character, it's also important to note that they can now scan beacons to see where the next ring location will be so make sure to utilise that as well. Bloodhound's tactical ability is called Eye of the Allfather. This is a very powerful ability but does have some cons. Eye of the Allfather allows Bloodhound to send a radar pulse up to 75 metres in front of you, which can also pass through any obstacles and even Bangalore smokescreen. In doing so, it will highlight enemies, traps or icons for the tracker ability and tell you how many hostiles have been detected. Hostiles that have been detected will also see sonar detected on their screen as well. Your teammates also benefit from the few seconds of Bloodhound's scan as they too can see the enemies just the same as you. However, they won't receive any screen notification letting them know, so again, communication will be key here. I should note Bloodhound's scan does only travel in the direction you are facing and not a radial pattern, and there is a 25 second cooldown, so keep that in mind. There are a few ways to use Bloodhound's tactical. Bloodhound is a great character to use aggressively while also providing support and recon for your team. As Eye of the Allfather's pulse can be seen by enemies, picking your moment to use it is very important. If you're wanting to catch a team off guard, I'd suggest holding off on using it. But if you're already engaged in a fight or need to heal and revive, being able to know if an enemy is lurking around and exactly where they can be is very powerful. One key moment I always use it is just after dropping into an area or pushing. The enemy team is probably going to know you're already there, so you won't be giving much away. If you can hear them, they can probably hear you. If you are enjoying the video and it is helping you out, please do give a like and let me know in the comments below. Please feel free to check out some more of my other content, and if you enjoyed that, please do subscribe. If you are interested, my socials are in the description, so check those out if you want to join me live on Twitch. Now, let's move on to Bloodhound's ultimate. Bloodhound's ultimate ability is called Beast of the Hunt. Beast of the Hunt gives you a 30% increase in movement speed and turns everything black and white except for enemies and tracks which are highlighted in a vibrant red. This allows you to see enemies easily at a greater distance than normal. While the ultimate is active, you can still use your tactical ability which has a reduced cooldown of only 8 seconds. Bloodhound's ultimate will last for 35 seconds, but downing an enemy will add 5 seconds to your Beast of the Hunt duration. Although Bloodhound is technically a recon legend, they do work best when playing aggressively. All of their abilities work in combination to help track down and close the gap on enemy teams. Although sometimes you may want to avoid using Bloodhound's tactical, pushing into battle with your team while using all of their abilities at once can really pay off. If they know you're there, don't be afraid to use your abilities. Having that increase in movement speed while also giving you and your team intel on where exactly the enemies are is certainly very powerful. Once you've committed to the push, hit that scan button, there is no going back. Keep in mind good communication with your team and you should come out on top. 
Although Bloodhound best works when played aggressively, they can be used defensively. Due to having that increase in movement speed when the ultimate is active, it allows you to run from a tricky situation fast and hopefully get away from any enemies that may chase you. As I touched on it briefly before, using Eye of the Allfather to reposition or know if it's safe to heal or revive is also a great ability to have. It means hopefully you and your team won't get caught out in those times of need when you're at your most vulnerable. There are a lot of smart ways to use Bloodhound, but as I've gone over their abilities extensively already, I'm going to give you some quickfire tips to help maximise their potential. Don't use Bloodhound's tactical if you want to sneak up on your enemies, as they too can see your scan. When you activate Bloodhound's ultimate, don't stop moving. The increased movement speed makes you a much harder target to hit, so take advantage of it. Communicate effectively with your team through your passive and tactical abilities to maximise your chances of coming out on top. Make sure to use your tacticals as often and as necessary as possible, especially during a fight. Close down the gap on your enemies by using your ultimate when you see tracker icons nearby. Bloodhound is an incredibly powerful legend and definitely one of the best in Season 7. The main issue I see when people play Bloodhound are not using their abilities frequently and effectively enough or not even communicating with the team. These are the things that make Bloodhound so powerful, so make sure you follow up on all of them. That's my ultimate guide to playing Bloodhound in Apex Legends Season 7. Experiment with Bloodhound yourself and go over any tips you may need to again. I hope this guide helped you or taught you something new, and if you do have any questions be sure to pop them in the comments below. Please do check out my channel for more Apex content, but for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.